गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज सागर फ्रांस फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई हैव जस्ट वोकन अप अ फ्यू मिनट्स बैक इट्स अबाउट फाइव फाइव थर्टी एंड वी आर अबाउट टू गो टू आर मॉर्निंग सफारी एंड यस द मॉर्निंग सफारी स्टार्ट बिफोर द लाइट सो वी हैव टू रीच द प्लेस बिफोर द एक्टल सन स्टार्ट राइजिंग so that uh, we are already in position when the bird and animal activity starts so that uh, we are going to have some tea and uh, get going towards uh, the grasslands i don't know if you can hear this but there's a there's a commotion outside i don't know if you can hear this somewhere out there uh, near the village <laughs> the the last night when we slept there was still commotion there were people singing on mics like karaoke uh but right now it's all uh, it's navratri so there's some devi uh, songs about goddesses and all right now there are songs about goddesses we are still in they were no about goddesses i don't know what these villages are on <laughs> they just they just having fun being themselves living their best lives man so yeah uh that was a great wake up call uh so i'll get down uh go down drink tea and we'll leave for our morning safari let's go the sun has just started to rise and we have already reached the grassland patch for today uh while coming in uh i had some tea but while uh, coming here i was just falling asleep then uh, dada said ki we might have a chance of seeing a fox here then i was like wide eyes wide open so right now we are in the grassland we have started after uh safari grassland safari for today today morning so let's see the sun has just started to rise let's see what we get we have just found our first fox uh, it's slightly in a ditch right now so we can't really see it uh, we're waiting patiently uh, to just spot it let it be comfortable with the cars around uh, okay so this is the first mammal of the trail of the safari grass and safari uh, let's see i hope i get good photos and videos and if i do i'll be putting them in the next next few minutes so let's see let's wait and watch pehle apna aage slide bhi uthe jana par na yaar aage mein itna rahe gaabar rahe the jam ho वीडियो पढ़ाए तो तीस कर देंगे अगर मेन मेरे में तो खड्डे तो उतर उतर उन्हें तो होता ना अगर खड्डे तो गाड़े उस लाख तेरे पढ़ा जाओगे तो
So really great sighting. We did see the fox. The fox did come out. Unfortunately, because of the other photographers who were really impatient and just tried to rush the fox. Uh, in the end, the fox uh, <laughs> ran away because of those photographers. But uh, I still got some good photos, good videos. Really sad that uh, the fox had to flee because of the photographers. But now we left it. Those guys were still per trying to pursue the fox. Uh, we left it. Now we're looking for other birds. We did see the parrot harrier earlier, but uh, we're just hoping to find that male again. There's just one male has arrived right now in this grassland uh, because it's still early uh, for the winter migrants. They're just starting to come in. So, so we'll uh, still exploring. We saw a nice pair of. Nice pair of spot bull ducks. Those gave us really good photos and videos. Now looking for other raptors and other birds. So uh, I'll start exploring, start looking for them again. that you should always remember is that the first optic that you should never forget while birding or any wildlife trip is your binocular uh, before you can even photograph uh, a bird you need to spot it so in any wildlife tours trails safaris you always need a good binocular uh, so that is amazing. obviously not in herping trips and all but uh, a binocular is always a good investment and if you're starting out in bird watching or even any other wildlife field like tigers, mammals, etc. A binocular will really go a long way and it will really help you hone your skills. So a binocular is a really, really important tool for any wildlife lover. The first patch of the grassland that we went to were really nice. We saw Parrot Harrier, Montague's Harrier. Uh, spot bell ducks, kestrel, fox, and other uh, commoners. And right now we are uh, going to search for oh, chinkara. Chinkara running away. Chinkara is also uh, called the Indian gazelle. Okay. So again, now we are in the new patch where the Indian eagle hour is seen. Uh, we do have chances of seeing it, but again, let's see if we find it. After a fun, adventurous and tiring safari, uh, today morning I'm finally back at my homestay. Our car got stuck but all the sightings have been wonderful. I saw the fox, the harriers, both harriers, kestrel, shikra, blue cheek beater and even a common babbler which is not that common in pudding. So um, I actually wanted to talk about this uh, in the end of the vlog which is right now. Uh, so I had two intentions behind making this vlog. So first was to bring you all with me to experience the grassland safari here in Pune. And the second was uh, that I wanted, this was my part of showing you all, my audience, uh, the fact that these grasslands aren't wastelands or just open lands. These grasslands have their own uh, biodiversity. The winter migrants come here, there are residents already here. Uh, and I've just basically scratched the surface that I've just shown you a few birds and animals and one animal. Uh, there are many more mammals. There are uh, even flora which are only found here. Fauna like snakes, insects, 
there's so many things here so whatever it might look like just a barren land or just some land from the outside but it has a very complicated and important ecosystem inside of it so that was my uh, intention behind making this vlog so this is the end of the vlog i am done here in uh, bhagwan i am now leaving i will be going home now so if you like the vlog please leave a like comment whatever you thought about this vlog what you would like me to improve what you would like to see next anything good <laughs> you can comment uh, also subscribe there are more videos coming uh, i'll be trying to do them weekly so subscribe uh, and have a great day i'll see you later